Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about something that was widely promoted by Louise Hay. And I haven't been quite ready to talk about Louise since her passing, uh, but I think I'm ready now. And I have several messages that I want to share with you uh, about some of the lessons that I learned from her that I am revisiting that are really, really helping me move forward on my path. And also I feel like since she's gone, those of us who were inspired by her and studied her teachings for so long and whose lives were tremendously impacted by her, I feel like we all need to carry on her message in the world. And I've been trying to do that through these messages ever since I started them four and a half years ago. But right now I really feel strong pull for that. So today I want to talk about not criticizing yourself or anyone else. And this can be really, really difficult. I've really committed myself to this the last few weeks. <clears throat> and man, it can be a challenge sometimes because we don't realize how often we knock ourselves down if we don't do something right, we don't do it perfectly, or maybe someone else is finding fault with what the, we're doing or the way we're doing it. So it's really important to stop. And when you stop criticizing yourself, you will stop criticizing other people because Anything that we lash out at other people about, it's usually about us because we are not feeling good about ourselves. That's why, you know, people who don't love themselves have a hard time loving other people. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Just as I was starting, this boo-boo came in the room <laughs> and started meowing. So I thought, let me just put him on my lap to kind of uh, help him relax. And he's, he's very relaxed, thank goodness. But uh, so this is something that I am working on affirming every day. It's something I remind myself of every day. And I also have to keep it in mind when I'm with other people. And say, for example, I'm with my husband and on the road, that's a challenge <laughs> because my poor husband, I, his driving makes me a little bit crazy. And I'm always like, look out, turn left, change lanes, one, you know, <laughs> and I try not to, I try not to, but it's so hard because it's our safety. So that's, it's a little bit different thing. And, you know, he's, he's relatively safe. He never has an accident. It's just, he's a creative genius. So his mind is always somewhere else. And so when we're in the car, I have to keep reminding him, we need to get over. We're going to miss our off ramp or get over. We're going to miss our freeway or because he'll be talking about his most recent project and he'll be so focused on that. And I can tell he's more focused on that than where he's going. So that kind of thing. And then other people on the road, it's so easy to be like, you idiot, you jerk. So I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to by my tongue and just zip it and instead find something positive, whether it's about the person or thing that I was going to criticize, trying to turn it around and look for something positive or just plain zip it <laughs> and just not voice the criticism and try to get it out of my head. Because if it's still in your head, you're still feeling it. It's still a negative vibe and it's still going to attract not great stuff to you. So it's just something that you have to keep reminding yourself of over and over and over for yourself and for other people. And if you are doing it and you catch yourself, just stop. Even if it's mid-sentence, if you start to be like, well, you know, they're really zip it right in the middle. Just stop. And it will become a habit that will become easier for you. And you will find yourself leaning more and more towards the positive and praising people and looking for the good. And it always makes me think of Bambi. You know, Bambi's mother told him, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all, which is a double negative, but whatever, it serves the purpose. <laughs> if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Oh, boo, are you leaving? Let's just say hi before you jump down. Hi. He's like, no, but, uh, so that's just a quick message for you today. And something that I'm really working on every day. And you know what? It makes a difference because when you catch yourself and you stop doing it, you feel better. You are allowing more positive vibes. You're, it's a way of loving yourself too, first, and then loving other people. Don't criticize yourself and stop criticizing other people. Just stop that. Louise always said, stop all criticism. So just stop it. And if you have a hard time, catch yourself in the midst and then stop and it will become a habit. I'm glad to say that it's, uh, it's starting to sink in with me, fortunately. And, and, you know, you have to keep in mind when you're with other people, if you realize, if you're starting this practice and you realize, wow, these people are really critical, you might have to shift up your social circle or stop hanging out with certain people, or maybe just don't even participate in the criticism and maybe try to steer it in a better direction. 
And, you know, I'm trying to do that when I'm with people, you know, with, I'm, when I'm with my husband, because we can both get caught up on a, a negative rant about something. And I have to really stop myself and not go with that and let it run away with both of us. I'm trying to stop it and get us both into a better habit of not criticizing and focusing on the good. So notice your social circles and who do, who do you spend your time with and are they hypercritical? Are they critical of you? Are they critical of themselves? Are they critical of everyone and everything around them? If they are and it's chronic, you might need to step away just for your own mental health. If you're trying to practice and implement these new positive habits, sometimes you can't do it around other people, but other times your new positive stuff might rub off on them. So you never know, but just pay attention and see what feels good to you. Because when you do this and you start shifting into a better vibe, you're just not going to be comfortable around certain people and in certain situations anymore. So hopefully this will help you get into a more positive vibe on a more regular basis, because that attracts more positive stuff to you on a regular basis. And that's what we all want, right? So let's honor Louise by stopping the criticism. It's something that I'm really trying to do to honor her. And I'm going to be doing several messages about lessons that I'm revisiting from Louise that are really having a major impact on my life right now. So this is one of them. Stop all criticism. Stop criticizing yourself and everyone else. And you will feel better and everyone else will feel better. And more people will want to be around you because you're nothing but a ball of good vibrations who are looking for the good stuff. So who, who doesn't want to be around that? So I hope this helps you if you realize this is something that you want to work on and maybe you didn't realize it and now you're like, hey, I'm critical or I'm around a lot of critical people all the time. You can always change that. Change yourself first and then your outer experience will change. And if you have kind of hangers on that are still critical, you have the power to step away, change who you're hanging out with. It's you always have the power. It's another thing Louise always said, the power of the, oh God, now I'm messing it up. The power is, point, point of power, God, sorry. The point of power is always in the present moment. So your point of power is right now. Sorry, totally messed that up. Sorry, Louise. The point of power is always in the present moment. That's a lot of alliteration. <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister. Maybe I'll do a message on that one later. But for right now, just stop all criticism of yourself, of everyone else, and notice how things are improving around you, because I'm sure you will. I know you will. So, and I want to thank you for joining me every week. Thank you for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tanamarshall.com, join the mailing list. You'll get a message from me every Friday morning and get this message before anybody else does. And there's a free gift for you there too. So with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. Take this principle into the weekend and notice when you might find yourself being critical of yourself, of other people, of situations, and just stop and just zip it and start that new habit of changing that and becoming more positive and uplifting instead of critical. And start with yourself because it's all about self-love. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.